grinding of the wheat. I did eight cups. Should be close to twelve cups of flour. And I will pull out my earplugs because it's very noisy. And we are ready to go. We have fresh ground whole wheat, which is wonderful. The wheat berry has within it many of the elements that the body loves. It has <clears throat> vitamin and mineral oils in the heart of the wheat, in the wheat germ, which is removed when wheat is refined and you get white flour. So now I'm going to dump this into my bowl. Oh yes, that's what we like. And I think I'll don my favorite apron. You've seen in other videos. It's my famous cow. And he doesn't say moo, he says juice. Because he knows that's healthy for us. And he also says grind. Grind your wheat. Okay. So we shall. Take this and roll it up, put it away, so that we can make our dough for the fresh ground whole wheat flatbread. I'll place that back in there, clean this out. up a little bit, wind up my cord, okay, <clears throat> now, look at this, isn't that wonderful, fresh ground whole wheat bread, fresh ground whole wheat flour. I should say it's not bread yet, but it will be. All right, so let's close up the oven. Put my food grinder away. This is solid metal, very good. Now, I have a well-built bread machine here, and it's not just an adjective, it's actually a, a noun. It's the name of it. So we're going to put the ingredients in. This will make the dough for me. Okay. Grab my recipe real quick. So it's been a while since I've made my flatbread. So I don't have it anymore. Oh yes, 
Here it is. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to do six cups of wheat. So I will put in six cups of wheat. And I always count out loud, otherwise I forget. One, two, three, four, five. Six. There's my six cups of wheat. Next, I put in uh, two cups of water. And I use bottled water. I don't want to all the chlorine and the other chemicals that they put in purified tap water. So, we shall use bottled water. So I'm going to do two cups of that. There's one. Two. Very good. Yes. Water is one of nature's seven doctors. Wheat is one of nature's seven doctors. Pure water, wholesome food. Okay, next. We have two teaspoons of salt. So, get two teaspoons of salt here. Alright, next we do uh, four teaspoons of honey. Mm -hmm. I have this wonderful local honey. It tastes like it has cinnamon in it. I don't know how the bees did that. So good. So what did I say? Uh, four teaspoons of honey. The honey will activate the yeast. And actually, I think I'll put the yeast in first because it's dry. I don't want to get my spoon wet yet. So I keep the yeast in the fr freezer. And that's cold. So I will... Let's see, how much yeast... Two teaspoons of yeast. That ought to do it. Get this back in the freezer real quick. Four teaspoons of honey. So we have one, two, three, four. There's four teaspoons of honey. Hmm. Wow. 
Wow. That's amazing, honey. I got that from my friend Jeff. There's a local beekeeper. Mmm, whole quart of it. Fresh. Just this year. Mmm. -hmm. I don't know how they did it. I don't think I've ever tasted honey that had a cinnamon taste to it. Mm. That is good. And honey has many elements that the body just loves. Excuse me for licking my fingers. By the way, you should probably put the water and the honey in first so it mixes good, but that's alright, it'll still mix fine. And then I put it my setting on whole wheat setting, so let's see, plug it in. Select to see. I want the whole wheat setting, which is six. no, no. I want the dough setting. Put it on the dough setting because I don't want it to cook. I just want the dough because I'm going to bake it in the oven here. So we'll put it on eight, five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? The inventors who made these wonderful machines. This is so easy. Just throw the wheat in, grind it up, throw the ingredients in the bread machine, and mix in dough. Just have to roll it out flat, put it in the oven on my nice baking stone. It's gonna be good. Alright. So that's gonna take um an hour and 28 minutes to make the dough. It'll actually mix it, let it rise, mix it again, let it rise, and it'll be all nice and ready to go to work with. So the wonderful thing about whole wheat is it's got all of the elements that the Lord put in the wheat, and wheat is for man has wonderful elements that our cells just love. And minerals, vitamins, has uh, carbohydrates. So, we will uh, be back in a moment. And uh, once this is ready to go, I'll show you how to make the dough.